Breaking news now, NIGHT News is everywhere with continuing team coverage on the massive effort to restore power after Tuesday's tornadoes. Talking about two days of cleanup, and we know the work is only just beginning for many homes, but as people push through the initial job of clearing branches and trees, it may be overwhelming to know what to do next. Colton Molesky talked to an expert who might have some answers. The winds were whipping around, heavy rain and that, and that's when I heard a crashing noise. Just like so many others, William Krupa had part of his property smothered under a tree. The storm bringing this massive trunk down and drop. But once the tree trimmers get things moved, what comes next? Just be proactive, document everything. Vice President of Campo Piano Roofing, Ricky Campo Piano, says the best thing to do is document and call in the experts, your insurance, a roofing company, people who can get started on the repairs process. You've got trees in your house, you've got water intrusion, you've got other issues, you know, broken windows, you're, you're not, your house isn't, you know, stable. You need to get somebody out that day or at least start making the phone calls and getting the process started. Campo Piano says getting folks out quick makes a huge difference in how much more damage will occur. And while cases like Krupa's are the extreme, any severe weather could warrant an inspection. You know, even if it doesn't look like, oh my God, it's the end of the world, my house is going to collapse, you still should have somebody to come out to look at it to either A, repair whatever minor damage you might have, or B, help you through with an insurance claim. Campo Piano adds someone else showing up with a plan also goes a long way to get you from the storm. <laughs> kind of give you a, a, a bad feeling in the stomach, you know. And on the road to be made whole. Getting your house secure first, getting your contractor and insurance companies involved and on the same page is probably the best first steps. I'm told even if it doesn't look like there's a ton of damage, it's still a good idea to have someone come out and check your property. In Cleveland, Colt Molesky, 19 News. All right. It's